low-slung station wagons are cool tall SUVs are sometimes cool tall station wagons, disguised as crossovers, like the previous three-row Chevrolet Travers? Not cool this new one though, the first of the second generation, is cooler I don't know if a three-row anything can actually be capital C cool, but it's closed the base engine is a massaged 3.6 liter direct injection V6 making 310 horsepower and 266 pounds FT. The upgraded unit is the company's 2.0-liter turbocharged for that engine delivers 255 horsepower and 295 pounds FT of torque. The V6 returns 18-27 mpg, the Turbo 4 is better in the city at 20 mpg but it makes just 23 on the highway those are both for the front-wheel drive versions, by the way. Expect all-wheel drive models to get a little less on both ends a new 9-speed hydromatic automatic disperses power, and that's where the rub begins, we'll get to that in a minute the new Traverse is all about that space, no treble, it fits 23 cubic feet behind the third row, 58.1 with the third row folded and almost 100 cubic feet with both the second and third row folded. The second row seat slide for and aft to accommodate different passenger sizes and the curbside second row perch folds forward, even with a forward-facing child seat, to let third row passengers and road test editor JRI is still in the rear-facing child seat, they have to face that way until like 9 now, so we didn't get to see how well that works looks cool, though, a good idea. Also being employed by Nissan and others as for tech and convenience, the Traverse is a family car, so that means Wi-Fi, USB ports in every row, wireless charging, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It has more than 20 storage cubbies and a truck size center console that'll fit full size file folders if necessary the Traverse also comes with the latest in safety, including a surround view camera, this baby ain't small, lane keeping and lane departure warning, front pedestrian braking and forward collision alert with low and high speed braking, 